The Gospel of Elohim, a prophecy of the time of the end, Revelation 12:1, and there appeared a great wonder in the heavens. The sign of Elohim Elu, the sun, and a woman, an astronomical sighting of a woman, the glorious holy habitation of Elohim Elu, the sun. And the sun and the moon was underneath it. And they couldn't be compared to it. And the earth was below it. And all those in the earth shall see the Elohim Jerusalem coming and they shall come to know and acknowledge Elohim and shall worship Elohim. And they shall be in the kingdom of Elohim. And all the world shall come and worship at the feet of Elohim. And upon the head of Elohim was a crown with twelve stars. And the Elohim Jerusalem was in the constellation of Draco, the northern celestial pole. And the Elohim Jerusalem, could be seen from the terrestrial pole above the Earth's horizon. And it was like a continual eclipse, that was like a majestic rainbow in the heavens, that looks like a great red fire. And when this fire, this eclipse, this red ecliptic fire appeared in the heavens, its tail devoured the third star, Venus. And through meteorites, fiery shooting stars down to the Earth. And the fire, the Elohim Jerusalem came down from heaven in the Earth and stood on its stands. And this sign stood for the return of Elohim. And the coming of the kingdom of Elohim. And the time when Elohim comes to set up his holy kingdom on the earth. And to deliver his people, the Elohim Nisraelites, them, the chosen people of Elohim Israel, the elected ones. And to establish the millennium kingdom reign of Elohim in the earth. And the time when Elohim comes to vanquish all his enemies. And the time when God Godreel and his only son Noman Adam, the corrupter who became the devil, the evil spirit that possesses Judas Jesuit Jesus would be bounded. And the time came when they were bounded and their reign came to an end. And the time when they all were judged and then cast out of the earth and were destroyed. And the time came when Elohim comes to restore all things, and the time that Elohim came and resurrected all the dead, and the time when they would be judged. And the time came that Elohim comes with his holy kingdom to rule and reign in the sinners and rule this world will a rod of iron. And the time that the seven heads of the world and the kings and the crowns of the world they stood up against Elohim, and the time that their power would be scattered and vanquished. And also all those who were against the wonder, the holy habitation of Elohim, and the fiery throne of Elohim, and the coming of the Elohim Jerusalem, the holy city of Elohim, the holy fire, and the holy kingdom of Elohim, and that they all would flee from before Elohim and be consumed and be destroyed. And Elohim brought forward his holy kingdom. And Elohim, Armin. The sovereign majestic king who looks like the sun, the everlasting father and our sovereign came forward. And Elohim was upon his throne and Elohim reign and rule all the nations of the world with a rod of iron. And the elected ones of Elohim were placed in the wilderness where there's a place prepared for them from the face of the destruction and the great tribulation and from Draco, the old serpent, God Godreel, the destroyer, and all the enemies of Elohim. Revelation 12 2, And she, the woman, the elected ones of Elohim, the Elohim Nisraelites, was like a woman that was with child cried, travailing in birth and in pain. And who was waiting to be delivered for the time when Elohim would come. Revelation 12 3, and there appeared another wonder in the earth. And I beheld a great red dragon, the fourth beast, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. Revelation 12 4, And the dragon drew the heads and the tails in the earth and the third part of the population of the people in the earth. And the dragon, the old serpent, God Godreel, and his only son, Noman Adam, that Jesuit Judas Jesus they were downcast and they were cast out of the kingdom of Elohim and the earth. And also all those that were with them, they were all casts out of the earth, and the dragon who stood up against Elohim and before the kingdom of Elohim, he was vanquished. And the woman, the Elohim Nisraelites was saved by Elohim from these adversaries who was ready to devour them, that old dragon, the old serpent, God Godreel who wanted to devour them and Elohim when Elohim was as a child and soon after Elohim was born. Revelation 12 5, And the woman, all of Elohim Israel, were brought forth by Elohim, the sovereign, Elohim Elu, 
the Holy Spirit, the Holy Angel, Elohim Mano, Elohim Olam, the Father, and Elohim Elu, the Son, who was, Elohim Elu Yah, the glorious Sovereign King, Arman Elu Yah, Elohim Manu Ishi Iman Mano. The Holy One, the glorious Majestic Sovereign King, who was Elohim Elu, the Word, who resembles, our Son, and who was Elohim Elu Elu Yah and Elohim Elu Yahawah, who came to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And Elohim Arman Elu Yah, was caught up into heaven and Elohim Elu Yah sat on his throne. Revelation 12 6, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where there was a place prepared by Elohim for her, a place where she should live and be saved from God God real, the destroyer, and that she should rest and be fed there for a thousand years, until the two thousand and three hundred days of years. Revelation 12 7, And there was war in the earth as Elohim Michael, the seventh archangel, who fought against the old dragon, the serpent, God God real, and the devil, the evil spirit of Adam who became the devil, the evil spirit that possesses Judas. Jesuit Judas Jesus, and the Jesuits, the evil men in the earth. Revelation 12 8, And they did not prevail nor neither was there any place found any more in the earth for them. Revelation 12 9, And the great dragon, God God real was cast out, that old serpent, and this son Noman Adam, that Judas Jesuit Jesus, the one called the devil, and Satan, and the deceiver, who had deceived the whole world, he was cast out of the earth, and his messengers, and his servants them were cast out with him. Revelation 12:10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation, and strength, and the kingdom of Elohim and the Elohim Jerusalem because Elohim is our sovereign, and the sovereign king. And because of Elohim Armin Eluyah, our everlasting father. And because of the power of Elohim, Manu Ishi Iman Armin Eluyah Mano. Because Elohim is the Christ. And because, God God real the destroyer and the devil, Judas Jesus, the accursed ones are cast out of the kingdom of Elohim. And they are downcast, because they all would be destroyed from the earth by Elohim. Our sovereign, in that day. Revelation 12 11, And the Elohim Nisraelites overcame the devil because of the blood of Elohim Olam, the sovereign, the everlasting father and because of Elohim, Elu, the word and because of their testimony, and because of the love of Elohim, and because they had trusted Elohim with their lives and until their death. Revelation 12:12. 12, 12, Therefore you Elohim Nisraelites you rejoice in the earth because Elohim shall be dwelling with you. But woe to the others, the tears of the earth and the evil inhabitants of the earth and those who are on the seas because the devil is coming after you, having great wrath because he knows that he have but a short time on the earth Revelation 12 13, and when God got real, the old dragon saw that he was cast out of the kingdom of Elohim and was in the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth, Armin, the Holy One, the Sovereign King, Elohim. Revelation 12 14, and the woman, the Elohim Nisraelites were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time, and times, and half a time, from the face of the serpent. And for a thousand years being protected by Elohim. Revelation 12:15. And the serpent, God got real, the destroyer cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. And the destroyer tried to overwhelm the Elohim Nisraelites them with his military and also made war with Elohim Israel and Elohim Eluyah, and the Hebrews and also against Elohim Armin Eluyamano. And he failed. Revelation 12:16. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood which the dragon, God got real, the destroyer Abaddon and Apollyon who tried to destroy her when he had cast water out of his mouth after her. Revelation 12:17 And the dragon, God God real was wroth with the woman Elohim Israel, the Elohim Israelites, the elected ones of Elohim and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, and all those who does not keep the commandments of Elohim. And all those who have the testimony of Elohim and those who were servants of Jesus. The Gospel of Elohim, 
and a prophecy of the time of the end.